One, two, three, shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he gets the iPad. That's great. I'm Your mind games. I'm impervious. Yeah, when, at games. this stage, the competition does not have sweet, to sweet games, revenge. Sweet, sweet revenge. Hello and welcome to episode 12 of Bosley, your 2016 fans on live in association with Coca-Cola. Mike Trainer and Gavin Casey here. He gets the iPad because we only got one from the semis somehow. We're reaching the end of the tournament and we've just watched France beat Germany in the semi-finals. Gavin, how do you think the final between France and Portugal is going to play out? I think France will win probably comfortably 2-0 again, but you can't rule out Portugal doing what they've been doing all tournament and pulling Greece on it. You know, the real underdogs, I mean, a Ballon d'Or winner in their squad, but like Greece are Caris Deus. It's funny how it's come full circle with Portugal and Greece. I think Portugal have a really good chance as the underdog, but I just think Griezmann is in serious form and he was the guy that got the first goal from the penalty spot. That was a major talking point to come out of the game. I thought it was a penalty, Gavin. You thought it was a penalty. There doesn't seem to be much debate about it, really. It seems weird. There were pe some people arguing against it, but I, I agree with this from uh, Graham Coilo at Talking About F1. He says, he's gone to protect his face. Well, let it hit your face then. That way it's not a penalty. Simple which stuff. is the best way, I yeah. think, to describe I mean, what went down. Perfect. Football is overcomplicated sometimes. Don't yeah. put your hands in front of your face if you I don't want to have I like this as well from Zach Goldman. He's a US football writer. He says, lest anyone feel bad for Germany potentially going out of a tournament because of handball after dominating the match. He put up screenshots of the USA versus Germany from World Cup 2002. That's this deep. has been playing on his mind. That Torsten Frings handball on the line has been playing on his mind for 14 odd years. That's Before even the time of social media, where, where did he go to vent, I wonder? That's holding a grudge like an Irish fan. We approve of that. It's, 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 a, maybe it's, a, bit it's actually a bit more yeah, a little bit yeah. more extreme. But anyway, that's done and dusted. The French players, you know, they got the win. They're in the final. And the only team that really gave them any bother in this tournament was Ireland. So it looks great for us. Yeah, John Bruin of ESPN pointed that out as well. Emlyn Begley, at Emlyn Begley, he said Ireland the only team to lead France in a Euro 2016 match, which means we're the real champions. We'll take it. The other semi-final, of course, was Portugal versus Wales. Heartbreak for the Welsh, but really what caught our eye before the game was this over-eager ball boy who needed to take his moment with Cristiano. He didn't care about anything else. And fair play to Ronaldo for reacting like a gentleman as well. Yeah, it's a flagrant display of Irish chancery from the young man, but Ronaldo, in fairness to him, has he has that in his locker. Yeah, Portugal breaking Wales hearts there. Everybody wanted to see them in the final, but the, the Welsh players, they gave everything across the tournament. Heroes, a lot of them, when they return home, and they gave their fans a little something to sing about with this unusual take on the hacka that they did after the match. So we know our final, but the one thing we don't know is the final of the Balls Euro 2016 virtual tournament that we've been running alongside. Ireland made the semi-finals, we're playing Switzerland, let's see how we got on. Okay, it's Euro 2016, final time, Ireland versus Switzerland, got Ken Inler staring at the ground, John O'Shea looks absolutely wrecked already, but sure look, we'll play Shane Long into Hulahan, and that's Wezo at his best, 1-0. Told you it'd be easy, lads, and we're already dancing all over the Swiss. What a ball from Wes, and would you look at that finish? Johan Giroud sliding in like the clown he is. Shane Long now looking for a bit of space, and he's found James McCarthy, who's found himself in the box for the first time ever, and I believe that's his first Ireland goal. So he'll kick the corner back in celebration. There's Robbie Keane coming on. Rabona pass from Aidan McGeady, a bleeding showboat, and Robbie Keane puts the ball in. Walters makes it 3-0. Lads, we're absolutely laughing. We're into the final, no doubt about it. It just matters who we're gonna play, and wouldn't you know, it's the European powerhouse that is Romania. Catch us for the final, lads. 3-0, a comprehensive victory in the semi-final, and now we're playing the powerhouse that is Romania. We spoke, we spoke about channeling the spirit of 94 for Italy. It's time to channel the spirit of 90. We may have channeled it too strong. We may have done too, dug too deep back in the archive. <laughs> Tore a hole in the space-time continuum and back we go. That is all we've got time for on episode 12 of Balls Euro 2016 Fans Online in association with Coca-Cola. We're looking forward to the final. Cannot wait. Griezmann versus Ronaldo should be a cracker. And of course, we'll be back with our reactions to that game. So make sure you look for that. But for now, from Mikey and Gavin in the Balls studio, thank you very much. Guys.